Hi, my name is Niranjan and welcome to another episode of Champak's IQ where we teach you simple science experiments that you can try at home. In this episode, we're going to be talking about a force that always gets in the way and literally every object around us experiences it. The force in question is called friction, which I shall be demonstrating with a really small experiment. All you need are two books of the same size. What you need to do to really experience this is to take your books, flip one upside down. Now, I've got a really cool book here with me. It's a magazine actually. It's called Champak. You should seriously check it out. Now what I've done is what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be flipping the pages, the last two pages open and I'm going to be crisscrossing every single page, one by one, one on top of the other. And finally the last two pages and once you're done and when you pick them up you'll realize that they're pretty decent, pretty firmly wedged together and pulling them apart takes a little bit of effort. Now the reason why these books stick together is because of friction. Now friction is a force that opposes the motion of two surfaces in contact with each other. So you've got two forces, they move back, yeah. The reason why they don't slide off each other is because of friction. Now the pages of a book may not seem too rough, but when you multiply it by the number of pages you're actually using it and then pile them one on top of the other, you really understand that friction is a force to be reckoned with. Now friction is a bit of a necessary evil. While on one hand we need friction to do very simple things like walking or even writing, but when you go faster the same friction sort of gets in the way because well you can't go as fast when something is not letting you go fast. Another thing friction does is it generates heat. When you try rubbing your hands together you realize what I'm talking about and that's not really a good thing when you're going really really fast and you're working with expensive equipment. And finally friction also causes wear and tear which means as your as your parts start moving really, really fast, they start wearing out and you probably have to replace them quickly. Now to reduce friction, we use lubricants. Now these could be oil or ball bearings. While it may seem like friction only comes into play in machinery and other moving parts, friction actually comes into play in just about everything, from making cars go fast to making lipstick run smoothly across your lips. Now I've taken the time and effort to do what we did a little earlier with a, with a couple of books, which are about 2000 pages each and a friend of mine is gonna come and we're gonna play tug of war. Pull man, pull! Ah, ah. Well, I'm playing tug of war with my friend here. I suggest you try the same thing at home and tell me who won. You are the books! Thank you so much for watching this episode of Champak IQ. My name is Niranjan. This was brought to you by Champak and One Network. Thank you so much and please subscribe.